Yo, what is up, guys? You Techno Roger here. We're gonna be playing Airplane Pilot Simulator 3D. This game is made by i6 Games, and I only remember the name of who made the game because of how, uh, what it is, because of how easy it is to memorize it. So, anyway, options. I have my game quality on far. Let's just play it. So, I'm up to level 20 now. And I think level 20 shows everything that's in the game. So, it looks like we're almost done here. Blah, blah, blah. It looks like a torrential storm. We have 5 hours, uh, 10 minutes of fuel, and 126 people. The max is 410 um, knots. So, Alright. So the first thing that you want to do when you start this is turn on your engine, which is that little button right there. You turn on your seatbelt indicator and your door, and you speak to the people. And you like tell them like when we're going to arrive and stuff like that, and tell them we appreciate your business and all that other stuff. This way they get happy and you get higher views. All right, so then you just start to take off. I would like I like to switch to camera too. Okay, now this is actually a really really fun game. And if you look in the top right corner where it says grounded, that's actually our radar, and we can raise up our landing gear. If we get too low to the ground, you're gonna see the low altitude warning pop up. And uh, as you can see, I just crashed. So anyway, let's let's actually play the game now. And there's a whole bunch of extra things in this game, like your plane can catch on fire, your engine can catch on fire, you could run out of fuel and you'll have to actually glide yourself back or to whatever airport that you're going to have to land at. You might even have to actually land at a totally different airport. And the passengers, just like real people, they don't like having like a seatbelt light on for too long, so they'll actually complain like a bunch of annoying things if it's on for too long. So I like looking at camera too, just because... And you can't turn too much while the seatbelt indicator is off. So, um, now all you do is just fly. To wherever your radar tells you to stop. And you can, like, turn off the engine in the sky. If you ever, like, flying a plane, you wonder why it just feels like it's dropping out the sky. That's because they actually disabled the engines. Which I thought was pretty cool. Because this is supposed to simulate, like, real, you know, airplane flying activities. You could use a gyroscope for this game. Uh, by tilting your device, that, that's basically what that means, but I was having tons of problems with it. Meaning, it just sucked, so I, I'm, I'm sticking with the um, traditional joystick. Okay, so we slow down. That's not the airport we're um, going to be landing at, I, I don't think. And you could, like, mute the comms and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. So, as you can see, our fuel is about three quarters of the way. So, uh, our altitude is 2,000 feet. And if you look at where it says knots, you know, that that's our speed. And then, and then there's altimeter and all that other stuff. And it's actually pretty in-depth in terms of what it would look like, I'm sure. I mean, I'm, th I'm sure there's a whole bunch more toggles. But this is, like, a package right here. So, we, we can slow ourselves down now because we're going to be landing shortly. So... Yeah, so we continue. I wonder if I can land with the seatbelt off and they won't complain about it. And then right when she, the woman says that you'll be landing shortly, that's when you want to turn on your seatbelt indicators, and that's when you can start doing all these crazy turns. Of course not on purpose. You're doing that to try to land the plane. But you want the engines disabled before you land. And landing is a tricky part. Like, in level 1, they give you no time at all in order to, like, learn to fly the plane. But that's a good thing. It gets you warmed up more fast, more, uh, what's the word, more quickly. And, uh, you could also taxi your plane. So, don't have, you don't have to worry about exactly landing on the runway. Like, I, as you can see, I'm up to level 20. They're supposed to be adding new levels pretty soon. Yeah, see, the seatbelt light was on for most of the flight, which I know for a fact it wasn't. Uh, so, Karaki Queen keep um keep good cleric terrain and now that they're saying no pilot interaction when i spoke to them about the weather and i have it on video and i did a good job landing the plane so it's like all levels completed congratulations let us know what you thought of the game as well as some future ideas for future levels all right so if we go back and i don't know we passed that one so I don't know, let's do them the only, I think 16. 16 was one of my favorites. Underground bunker. We're going to be doing this one right. Another 15, 20 minutes of flight. 
Yeah, 15, 20 minutes of flight time. All right, now he just said that, so now we're good. Am I right? Okay. And this game is actually better, because in other airplane game, if you lowered the landing gear down, what happens is you actually would explode. This, you don't explode. You just damage the plane. So, so real. It's super real. All right, let's wait these stupid people, passengers on board. Don't complain that the seatbelt light was on too much. These idiots are dumb. Let them just die or something by having their seatbelts off. Bunch of idiots. Why complain when the seatbelt light is off, is, is on most of the other ride? I mean, that's good. You get time to sleep. I mean, of course, you could just get, like, strokes from not moving your feet enough. Daddy. Oh, God. Gosh. Am What's you need? Am Oh, God, no. Oh, terrain. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. That's why I'm, I have, like, no knots. Oh, God. No, I'm pretty sure they did. They better uh, come to their house and destroy them. You can see I'm dropping altitude. Oh, God, no. Oh, gosh. One, this one more level, and I'm going to end the video there. You can see it's actually a pretty fun game. Actually, let's just fly random in, in random areas of the, the map. I want to see how high we can go before they die. Of, like, having, like, too much cabin pressure, because you get that, too. And the seatbelt could be off, and I'll toss you guys around. There we go. 3,000 feet. 4,000 feet. 5,000 feet. Bee -dee 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 -dee. I'm not lowering it. Do, 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 do. What could even happen at high altitudes? Like, no one chaos. Like, I never had a fire happen. I never had an engine fire. I never had, like, a seatbelt issue or anything like that. Oh, God, no. What's the difficult part about flying a plane? The part where you actually have to fly it. Oh, yeah. It's fine. That pun is not copyrighted yet. What? I'm done. Peace out. Download the game. It's a lot of fun. Links are always in the description below. Subscribe. Peace out.